stupid, stinging sunburn. Popcorn, you can stop now. Not until the time goes off. Oh, that's The timer did go off. You were too busy dancing and singing to hear it. Oh, well, good thing we had that timer. And a good thing you heard it, or I'd be rushy, rushy, rushing all day. <sighs> Ready? Me too. Let's go. Bye, Dad and Papa. See you later. Have fun. And stay cool, Vita Bug. me. No, it's a really hot day. The sun is super bright. Luckily, we'll be inside today because... The bet is in. That's me. The bet is in. Oh! oh. <laughs> Hi, Tibbet. Hi, Vita. Hi, Popcorn. You'll never guess where I'm going. Swimming? What? But how? How could you possibly... How did you know? Well, Tibbet, you have a towel and goggles and a floaty. Oh, you noticed. I'm on my way to the watering hole to swim and play. It's a perfect day for that. Sure is. Although, it's also the perfect day to get sunburned, which is why I brought my personal collection of sunscreen. <gasps> sunscreen! I knew I forgot something! Here, Vita. There. I put mine on before I left my house. Well, I'm glad everyone is wearing sunscreen to keep their skin from getting sunburnt on a sunny day. Are you kidding? Sunscreen is my middle name. I've got every kind. Look, and I don't just use it on swimming days. I use it whenever I'm in the sun. It's animal safe, too. Wow! Maybe sunscreen really is his middle name. Just remember, sunscreen wears off, especially if you're sweating or swimming. So you have to put more on a few times today. Don't forget! Oh, I definitely won't forget. I'll put more on as soon as I get to the watering hole. Have fun! Hi, everyone! Great day to swim and play! Mm. Hi, Fergie! Hi, Tidbit! Come on, we're gonna play water tag! Yeah, come play with us! Water tag? Ooh, I love water tag! But, first things first, I gotta put on sunscreen. Oh. Here we are! I've got bottles, I've got tubes, I've got jars, and sprays, of course! Will you hurry up, please? Yeah, come on! We can't wait to play! Nuh-uh! Can't forget the important stuff. And what's important right now is... Ice lollies! Come and get them! <gasps> ice lollies! Oh, I love ice lollies! Me too! Me three! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh. No, Koa, are you okay? I got you great. Thanks, but I think I hurt my nose. Sorry about my sunscreen. It's supposed to prevent burns, not cause falls. I guess I know where we're going. Looks like we need a, need a vet. Who always knows just what to do. Let's go to Vita, Vita the vet. She will take great care. Your nose got quite a bump, Koa, but it should be fine. The ice pack will help. How long do I have to hold it on my nose? Until this timer goes off. The cold will help you keep your nose from swelling up. Plus, it'll keep you cool on this hot day. Oh, 
And speaking of hot days, did you put on more sunscreen, Tibbet? Uh, well, not yet. But I will. Sunscreen is my middle name, remember? I remember. You both need to put on sunscreen, too. Us? But we have fur. Mm-hmm. Yes, but fun fact. Even animals with fur can get a sunburn in places where the fur doesn't cover. So you've got to use sunscreen in those spots. Like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Phew. <laughs> How are you feeling, Koa? <gasps> My boo-boo doesn't hurt anymore. Great. Then a one, two, three, four. You're all better. You're all done. Now go out and have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vita. Yeah, and don't worry. I'll make sure we're all sunscreened up. Don't forget. I will absolutely, positively, definitely not forget. Thanks again. See ya. And you can't forget either, Vita. Give me your hands. <laughs> Thanks, Pop Green. First things first, we are going to put on sunscreen. Oh, careful. My nose is still a little tender. There you go. And a little on your ears, Fergie. Thanks. Now can we please go and have some fun? Uh-uh. I still need to put some sunscreen on myself. Here we are. Hey, Tippet, catch! <laughs> Ha-ha! Let's play! Hooray! Yay! supposed to do, but I can't remember what it was. Your skin does look a little red, Tidbit. Yeah, I think you might have a sunburn. A sunburn? But, but, but I can't have a sunburn. I, I put on a whole bunch of... <gasps> oh no, I forgot to put on sunscreen! Why? Looks like we're going back to the vet. Do you feel dizzy? No. Is that bad? Have you been drinking a lot of water today? Yes. Is that bad? Nope. That's good. Too much sun can dry out your body and make you feel tired or dizzy. We want to make sure you're not dehydrated and that your body has all the water it needs to keep you feeling good. <sighs> I thought sunscreen was my middle name. But actually, it's just Theodore. Aw, don't worry. I'll treat your sunburn with some aloe. Aloe! What's aloe? It's a gel that comes from the aloe vera plant. It'll soothe your skin and help it feel better in a few days. I can't believe I forgot to put on sunscreen. Every time I was about to do it, something fun distracted me. Aw. Aw, uh, don't be too hard on yourself, Tibbet. Everybody gets distracted by fun sometimes. That's why I make sure to take care of the important things right away. Everybody likes fun, everybody likes play, so remember this advice and you'll be a-okay. To keep a happy day from winding up at the worst, take care of the important stuff first. When the sun's shining down and the day's getting hotter, it's hard to stop the fun to grab a little drink of water. But listen to your body and remember your thoughts. Take care of the important stuff first. I know what you mean. 
When the bathroom is calling but you don't want to stop Don't stay in play till you're ready to pop Don't, don't wait, wait until, until you're feeling like, like you just might burst Take care of the important stuff first So remember, don't forget to get the order reversed Prepare, be aware, and take care of the important stuff first Rita, I will definitely take that advice. But what if I do forget? How can I make absolutely positively sure I remember? I've got a great idea. Be right back. Huh? You can use this timer. Set it whenever you put on sunscreen, and when it goes off, you'll always remember to put more on. It's the perfect plan. Thanks, Vita. Tidbit Theodore Turtle is the sunscreen king again. Ice lollies for everyone! Hooray! <laughs> Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube. good at playing the triangle, so... If the marching band needs help, they can definitely ask me. Think they'll need help? <laughs> I'm not sure if the marching band will need help, but I am sure our patients will. Who's on our schedule today? <sighs> okay, Toby's foot needs an x-ray, Koa has a splinter, Kip has a mysterious rash, and Toby's foot needs an x-ray. <sighs> <sighs> You said that one already. Both his feet need one. That's a long list. I hope we get through it all before the marching band show. Me too. Whew. Better not waste any time. Then let's get to it. Now!
finished all our appointments! Yes! Time to close up and head to the Marching Band Show! I'll uh, grab my triangle, in case the band needs help, of course. Bye, Willie! Thanks for all your help today! Bye, Pinky! See you tomorrow! What's wrong? <sighs> oh, um, oh. hi, Mouse family. Is Sunny okay? Oh. Uh, uh. What happened? Well, I don't know exactly. We were telling Sunny about the marching band because he loves music. Us too. We were just heading to the marching band show. So were we, but when we started to sing one of our favorite songs, he ran away yelling. I guess marching bands aren't for everyone. But Sunny loves all kinds of music. Don't you, Sunny? It's true. I do love music. All kinds. Even your singing. So it's not your singing, because Sunny loves your singing. You know who's singing I love? Mine. La 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 la. La la la. <laughs> no! Hmm. Maybe Sunny isn't feeling well today. I'll check on him. Hey, Sunny, what brings you in today? Well, something made me feel ouchy, Mosey, but not sick or hurt. I don't know what it was. Well, that's no fun. How about a checkup to help us figure it out? That sounds helpful. Okay, heartbeat sounds good. Thermometer. Temperature normal. Autoscope. And your ears are looking healthy, too. Really? So I'm okay? Are you feeling a bit better? Hmm. Yeah. Then let's go! Good news! Sunny is healthy and ready to go to the marching band show! Ah. Yeah! Yeah! I wish I could know what he's feeling. We don't want him to miss seeing the marching band. Don't worry. I won't give up till I get to the bottom of this. Hmm. There you are, Sunny. What's wrong, bud? I thought you were feeling better. I was, and then it wasn't. I don't know why. Maybe if we talk a little more about it, we can figure it out. Really? <laughs> yes. You see, sometimes we don't have the words for what we want to say. But we can still share how we feel in another way. We say it with a noise like ah, or with a face like wah. <laughs> we even say it with our body, just like a few blah. Wanna try? Okay. When you see a friend, you feel. Yay! When you lose a game, you feel. Aww. And when you hug your baby sister, you feel. Aww. So next time when there are no words for what you want to say, I can share my feelings in another way. I think I found some words for how I'm feeling. I'm worried about going to the marching band show. Hmm, are you worried that it would be too crowded? No, I like saying hi to everybody, and I get to sit on my papa's shoulders if I feel squished. <laughs> okay, are you worried you might get hungry or thirsty while you're there? No, I always keep a chunk of cheese in case I need a little mousy snack. <laughs> That's pretty smart. Yeah! So what's making me feel so ouchy, Mousy? And a one, two, three, four. Ow, ow, ow! No, I said to stop. <sighs> so you ran when you heard singing, and again when you heard yelling, and the triangle, and now the band? Exactly. Hmm. That's it. Sunny, do you think maybe you don't like loud noises? Hey, yeah! Every time I hear a loud noise, I feel so ouchy mousy. But I do like music. Is there something wrong with me? Not at all. Some of us just have more sensitive hearing than others. And 
Fun fact, mice have ultrasonic hearing. That means they can hear really well, even noises that humans can't. I knew there was something special about these ears. They can't be this big for nothing. It can be hard to think straight when there are loud noises everywhere. Exactly. You get it, Vita. But does this mean I can't go see the marching band? No way. You love music, so I'm going to find a way to help you enjoy it. Yay! Here, jump in my pocket. It'll be quieter in there. That's already a little better. Introducing the amazing triangle stylings of Maestro. Pa We're back. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank goodness we'd have found you. Yep, she did. And I have something for him. Are you all right, Miho? Yep, Vita helped me figure out what was wrong. My diagnosis is. Honey is sensitive to loud noises, and I have just the thing to help. <laughs> Earmuffs? Vita, my ears aren't cold. And besides, it's not winter. <laughs> These earmuffs aren't for the cold. They're for noise. They make everything a little quieter. Even music? Yep, give them a try. Can somebody make some noise? <clears throat> These are perfect, Vita. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Music loud or music low. With your mug, you'll enjoy the show. Come on, everybody. Let's go see the Sweetwood Marching Band. Just in case they need me to play. <laughs> That's your cue, Sonny. Streaming on YouTube. Bundle up before you go outside. It's cold. Already on it, Papa. You know, ah, I was worried it would be too snowy, but this looks nice. I know, right? And I bet Sweetwood looks beautiful. Let's go. Like being 
inside a snow globe. Rita, I think some whimsical frolicking might be in order. I couldn't agree more. Woohoo! Yay! Well, that didn't work out. That's why we slipped. Under the snow, the ground is all covered in ice. It can't be that slippery. <laughs> Whoa! Oof. I stand corrected. We better be super careful on our way to the clinic. Come on! Whoa! Get up, popcorn! Come check out our snow beast! Snow beast? Yeah, it'll be just like the sand beast we built last summer. But even cooler! Brr, literally. Need a help? I love to, but we have to get to the clinic. Have fun! Oh, and be careful not to slip on the ice. Sure thing! You got it! Well. Hey, Rita! Whoa! 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 Oh, hey there! <laughs> nice snowy day, right? Snowy day? More like slippy day. But hey, you're not slipping at all, Otto. What's your secret? My secret to barely slipping? <laughs> Get it? Bear? Nice one, Otto. I think I know your secret. Fun fact, bear claws are long and curved, which helps them get a good grip on the ice so they don't slip. Lucky them. Look, the clinic. Finally, I've never been so happy to sing. The bat is in. Whoa, the bat is in. Uh-oh. Oh, oh animal's big. Like me. An animal's small. Like me. Come on in, we'll care for you all. Well, that worked out. So who's our first patient this morning? We've got two. You didn't even check your clipboard. I didn't have to. Look! Pippin and Banjo, what brings you two in today? Hmm. We were playing in the snow and he slipped into me. Nuh-uh, she slipped into me and then... Hey, no way! You slipped into me! Um, I don't think so, little sis. Uh-huh, big bro. How about a checkup, you two? Gnarly. Okay. I'd say that whatever happened, you both slipped on the ice. You bumped your elbow, Pippin, and you bumped your knee, Banjo. Can we agree on that? <laughs> yes, yes Vita. Vita. And even though you share lots of things as brother and sister, boo-boos don't have to be one of them. You're all better, you're all done. Now go out and have some fun. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Vita. Vita. Did you hear that, Banjo? She basically said it was your fault. Dude, she was talking to you. Next patient, please. Vita, I'm sorely in need of your help. Uh, what happened, Zigzag? You're not going to believe it, but it's the ice. It's not just slippery, it's sneaky. One minute, I'm standing up. The next, have a seat. Exactly! Ow! Do you think we could do this really fast, Vita? Everyone's waiting for me to work on the snow beast. Hmm, if you keep slipping on the ice and landing on your bottom... We might need to get creative to solve this one. Creative? Mm hmm I've got glue sticks, I've got glitter, or how about beads? <laughs> Thanks, Popcorn. Just this yarn and a pillow. Pillow! Hmm. Aha! Done! <gasps> Gee, thanks, Vita! <clears throat> yup, it works! Soft landing and no more sore bottom for me! Remember to walk slowly on the ice zigzag and watch where you step. Will do. Yeah. Yes, still works. Want to make something with beads? Zigzag, you're back. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Now let's build this snow beast. Yeah. 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 Look like I feel. <laughs> <laughs>
Me too. You said it. Oh, hop on, everyone, cause it looks like you need a... Need a vet. Who always knows just what to do. Let's go to Vita. Vita the vet. She will take great care of you. Thanks, Otto. Thanks, Otto. Sure thing. Feel better. Let me guess. You slipped. I scraped me. Me bump. <clears throat> I mean, I bumped my leg. My tail got scrunched and crunched. And my pillow still works, so no boo-boos for me. <laughs> But now I have a runny nose. Hmm. Magnifying glass? Magnifying glass. Hmm. Antiseptic wipe? Antiseptic wipe. Oopsie bandage, please, popcorn. Oopsie bandage. 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 Ice pack. Uh, ice pack. And tissue. Tissue. You're all better. You're all done. Now go out and have some. <gasps> Wait. I'm sorry to say this, but all the ice is making things way too slippery in Sweetwood. Oh, I'm sorry you had to say that too. Now come on, everyone. Let's build that snow beast. Hang on, hang on. I meant, as your vet, I don't think you should play outside because it's too, well, slippery. You mean we can't finish the snow beast? Not unless we figure out a solution to make it safer. Ah, snowflakes. No. This is terrible. No, like. Don't worry, everybody. Let's listen to Vida. She always has a solution. What's your solution, Vida? <clears throat> I was actually gonna ask if you had a solution. This never happened when we built the sand beast. Yeah, that wasn't slippery at all. It was just sandy. <gasps> of course, I've got it. Oh, no you don't. These are mine and they're for sleeping. Not pillows, sand. Follow me everyone, I've got a plan. So, you want us to just play in the sand instead? Okay. <laughs> Not quite. See, the ice is super smooth, which makes it slippery. Watch out! Whoa. Whoa. We noticed. Ugh. Is everyone okay? is slippery, but the sand is gritty and rough, which makes it, well, not slippery at all. See? Whoa! Whoa. Even there! So now we can play in the snow! And finish the snow beast! Right now! Come on, everyone! Let's sand up Sweetwood! Sand's like a plan! <laughs> This snow dust is seen, so soft and serene. Looks exciting, inviting, and nice. But hey, just below all that powdery snow is a slippery layer of ice. And we've gotten so tired of slipping and falling down flat on our ends. I had honestly thought about skipping, building the beast with my friends. But thanks to our trusty vet, Vita. Always happy to land. You know, slip. We've gotten a grip by covering Sweetwood with sand. Now this puts the wind in winter and turns every frown to a grin. No slip, trip, or bump. Need bruise up your arm. You need tails or your shin. Yes, this puts the wind in winter. So it's winter for the wind. Yeah. 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 We did it! Good job putting sand around the snow beast, Juno. No way we'd be able to hold this pose without it. Uh, Juno no put sand here. Sunny did. Wasn't me. That was Zigzag's job. First I heard of it. So if no one put sand down, what are we standing on? Ice! Ooh, ow. Ooh, ow. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
You gotta love this pillow! Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube. He'll mess up, but he says have fun! <laughs> Thanks! See you later! Into the fin Ow! I messed up! Oh, right at the end! <laughs> that's in a lot of flowers. And, fun fact, when bees collect pollen, they spread it around, which helps plants grow. Right you are. And we eat it. Hey, Coach, speaking of eating pollen, I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, well then let's start this pollen run. So long, you two. Pollen run! Have a good run. Popcorn. Thanks, Vita. You okay? Oh, I'm great. Just had a little nose itch. Huh? <gasps> wow! Okay, now those flowers are gorgeous. Don't you think, Vee? <sighs> Achoo! Are you sure you're okay, Popcorn? I hope you don't have a cold. Me? Nah, I don't feel sick. I just need to get inside because it feels like something out here is itching my nose. Huh, I wonder what it is. The bat is in. That's me. The bat is in. Hello. Giant is a cheetah. Or me as a bug. Everyone's welcome for checkups and hugs. The bat is in. <laughs> What you're gonna ask, and I feel great. Except this nose itch. Hmm, how about a checkup? Just to make sure you don't have a cold. Check away! Hmm, heartbeat strong, lungs clear, otoscope please. Otoscope! <laughs> Ears looking good. Thermometer. Thermometer! <laughs> And no fever. Just like I thought. That's <laughs> huh. But if it's not a cold, what could it be? <laughs> well, hello, Pippin. What brings you in today? I 
woke up like this. Super itchy. Hmm, interesting. You're not sick with the cold or pink eye. Then what do I got, Doc? I need some time to look in the big book of everything to figure it out. But in the meantime... Warm compress? Thanks, Popcorn. This will soothe the itching. Ah, <sighs> now that's soothing. Popcorn, please take Pip into the recovery room. Right this way. Wow, busy day. My nose is runny and itchy and red. Hmm. I see. Popcorn, can we please have an ice pack for Fergie's itchy nose? In the tissue. Here you got you! <laughs> I'll get you a fresh one. Troll itch. Mm. Aw, some cool tea will soothe your throat and stop the wheezing. Popcorn? On it! I jump! Achoo! Super sneezy nose here! Achoo! Here you go! Achoo! I'll get you a fresh one. Vita, you gotta help me. My face is so itchy. Like my nose. Fresh tea and new tissues. Don't worry, everyone. I'm going to get to the bottom of this right now. Here's your cool tea, Juno. Achoo! Hmm. I'll get you a fresh one. Okay, things that can make someone's face, throat, or nose itchy. Watch! And sneezy. Dust, but sweet but's not very dusty. Bug bites. Hmm. Ugh. Pollen? Hmm, but where's pollen? <laughs> pollen comes from flowers, and Sweetwood has a lot of new flowers blooming today. That's it! Achoo! 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 I figured it out! So what's wrong with us? My diagnosis is you all have pollen allergies. Uh huh? A pollen allergy? <laughs> I'll explain. You're sneezy, you're wheezy, you've got itchy eyes, your throat is feeling scratchy. Well, it's no surprise. There's pollen falling from the trees. Get it? Spring showers, spring flowers, and when flowers grow, they bloom and show their pollen. And the next thing you know, there's pollen falling. It makes you sneeze. Pollen falling. If you've got allergies, pollen falling. It means one thing. I need a tissue. Sure. And it must be spring. It must be spring. Gesundheit. I definitely get it. Then all we have to do is make this pollen go away. Who's with me? Yes! Yeah! Hmm. Come on, Vida. If anyone can fix this pollen problem, it's you. You're right. Yeah, mm. he's got a point. Well, someone would have to collect all the pollen to make it go away. I'll do it. Yes, popcorn! Now that's what I'm talking about! This pollen is gonna be gone in one, two, achoo! Achoo! Uh oh. Achoo! 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 Achoo!
go out there. Uh, uh, achoo, achoo, achoo. Achoo. Hey, Vida, you're not sneezing at the pollen. I think that means you're magic. Yay! Achoo! Achoo! No, I think it's because she doesn't have pollen allergies. Vida, can you go out and get rid of the pollen? Well, pollen from flowers helps plants grow, so it wouldn't be good for someone with big hands like mine to try to collect pollen. Because if I hurt the flowers, other plants won't grow. Like the fruits and veggies in Mama Mouse's garden? Exactly. I'm sorry, everyone. So we need someone who's small. Achoo! And isn't allergic to pollen. Right. <gasps> The bees! Looks like we need some... Need some bees! To gather pollen up with these All that pollen will feed some bees And then we won't itch, cough, or sneeze Idea so good! Achoo! Hi, bees! Hey, Vida! Need some honey? Need some pollen? Need me to teach you how to do this? <laughs> Maybe later. Do you think you can help us out and collect pollen from all the flowers in the tree? I think it's the perfect spot for your next pollen run. Yeah, that does look good. We're in. Line them up, team. I feel better already. Me too. Oh, yep. Great work, bees. Thank you. Bee, beautiful job, everyone. <laughs> Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube. You're having a sleepover at Grandma's tonight. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Well, I love Grandma, but I don't love sleeping at her house. Her pillows are different, and her toothpaste is different, and I just can't get comfy. Yeah, no, we get it. Sleeping somewhere different can be tough. I know. Why doesn't Grandma have a sleepover here? I can give her my best pillow and my favorite stuffy. Well, maybe not my favorite stuffy. Sweetie, I'm sure we can figure out a way to make you comfy at Grandma's, okay? Okay. Later, Gators. In a while, Crocodile. <laughs> What 
a beautiful... Wait! I forgot my favorite stuffy. Are you sure? Have you checked my vet vest pocket? Sure, I'm sure. I would have remembered if I put it in here, so it's definitely not... Oh. It was in here! Roar! <laughs> That's so. Let's go! Bug. Everyone's welcome for checkups and hugs. The vet is in! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Viva! You there? I'll go see what's up. We could use a bit of help. Oh! What's wrong, Sonny? I was running fast, and then faster, and then the fastest I've ever ran, and then... I tripped on a mushroom. Ouch! Yeah, it was ouchy mousy all night long. I couldn't sleep well because it was so ouchy mousy. Let's take the elevator up to the clinic so Vita can help you. There's itty bitty ouchy mousies, and then there's super duper ouchy mousies, and this one is super duper. Oh, hi, Vita. Good morning, Sunny. Hmm. That foot looks pretty ouchy mousy. It is. Do you think it's broken? I, I hope it's not broken. I hope so, too. Sonny, let's get you an x-ray to find out. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Papa Mouse. Vita's got this. Hmm. Your foot is very swollen, which is causing the ouchy mousey, but it's not broken. My diagnosis is you have a sprain. An itty-bitty sprain? Or a super duper sprain. An itty bitty one. And as long as you don't walk on it and give it a chance to rest, you'll feel better in one, two, three. Phew! Phew is right. <sighs> this bandage will help support your foot and make you less ouchy. See how that feels. It feels. <sighs> Fine. You must be really tired since you didn't get good sleep last night, huh, Sunny? Uh-huh. Getting enough rest is very important for healing. Papa Mouse, I'm prescribing one very long nap right away. Uh, that should be easy enough. Oh, but the whole family is going to the mouse market today. Oh, dear. What's the mouse market? It's a flea market with all my size items for sale. It's only once a year, so we can't miss it. <sighs> we get mousy shirts, mousy shoes, mousy chairs, and mousy stuffies. Well, Sunny could stay at the clinic and nap in the recovery room. Oh, that would be perfect. Is that okay with you, Sunny? Uh-huh. Thank you so much, Vida. Sunny, I'll see you later. <sighs> Bring me back something mousy. <laughs> oh, I will, Sonito. Sweet naptime dreams. <sighs> Cotton balls, you go here. Lollipops, what are you doing there? You go here! Howdy, <laughs> Cobbler! <clears throat> what are you doing here? Sunny, your sprain won't get better if you keep putting weight on it. And you're supposed to be napping. I know, but I just can't sleep. How come? Maybe it's too bright? Let's see what we can do about that. There, that should do it. Thanks, Rita. <sighs> Pencils, what are you doing down here? You go now, Popcorn! Sunny, what's going on? I still can't get comfy. Popcorn, can Sunny borrow this? Sure. I think this stuffy will help. <sighs> That should do it. All right, have a nice long nap. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. 
って言ってハリーパッポーサニー You're supposed to be I got this one, Vita Come on, Sunny All right I know you're having trouble resting, so I'm gonna use an old secret family tradition I learned to make anyone fall asleep Okie okay, mousey Popcorn super secret sleepy time dance Do 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 Every time. Howdy, popcorn! Bah! Uh, oh, whoa. <laughs> popcorn sleepy time dance didn't do it for you, huh? <gasps> Who told you about that? How about some warm milk? That's what my dads give me to help me fall asleep. But my papa makes me a cup of banana milk to help me sleep. It makes me feel so cozy. Hmm. What else do your parents do to help you sleep? Hmm. Papa makes sure I have my butter bark chewy. Anything else? Mama gives me my owl stuffy, and then she sings me the lazy mousy lullaby, and then I'm fast asleep. That's it. I think Sunny needs his sleepy time routine to make him comfy and cozy and ready to nap. Popcorn, could you please zip over to Sunny's house and get his owl stuffy and his, uh, what is it? Butterbark Chewy for my teeth. Oh, that makes sense. Cause, fun fact, mouse teeth never stop growing. So they need to chew on things to keep their teeth nice and short. Yep, one owl stuffy and a Butterbark Chewy coming right up. In a sippy cup, please. Got it. Just like Papa makes. Here you go. My Chewy. And now for the Lazy Mousy Lullaby. Get cozy, get comfy, get super snuggly too. Now rest with ease and dream of cheese. Market. Amazing! We got everything we needed. Thank you again for letting Sunny rest here. Sure thing. Anytime. <sighs> Hi, Papa. Did you get me something mousy? Sure yeah. did. <laughs> <gasps> A pillow for my owl stuffy? And how was your nap? Vita did my whole bedtime routine, and I'm not sleepy anymore. And now my foot feels wowy mousy. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Me too. Oh, I almost forgot. For the clinic. Wow, thank you. I'll find the perfect spot for it. Let's go, Sunny. Time to get home. Mama is making your favorite for dinner. Cheese and alfalfa sprout casserole? Yum! Bye, Vina. Bye, Popcorn. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Phew. Now I can finally finish cleaning up the supply area. Hey, popcorn! Getcha! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say we leave tidying up for tomorrow? Let's head home so we can get our own rest. <laughs> Good idea. Hey, almost time to go to Grandma's. You ready? Yep, just gotta make sure I have everything I need for my bedtime routine. Pillow. PJs, <laughs> popcorn, <laughs> stuffy, toothpaste. Okay, friends, it's trivia time. 
Pay close attention to the clips and then answer the question after. Ready? Dad, Papa, I'm going to Sweetwood. Okay, Vita, and don't forget, you're having a sleepover at Grandma's tonight. Oh, yeah. Question one. Who is Vita having a sleepover with? Popcorn, her grandma, or baby mouse? What do you think? Time's running out. And the answer is... Vita is having a sleepover with her grandma. Their foot is very swollen, which is causing the ouchy mousey, but it's not broken. My diagnosis is you have a sprain. Question two. Is Sunny's foot broken or sprained? Sprained or broken? Hmm, what could the answer be? Time's running out. And the answer is... Sunny's foot is sprained. Howdy, popcorn! Ah! Sunny, you're supposed to be... I got this one, Vita. Come on, Sunny. All right. I know you're having trouble resting, so... Question three. What does Sunny have trouble doing? Singing? Sleeping? Or dancing? I don't know. What do you think? What could it be? And the answer is... Sunny has trouble sleeping. Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube. clipboard yet? No. We looked all over the room and we still can't find anything. That's not true. I did find this baby carrot. My baby carrot! I was wondering where I left that. I'll go look on the waiting row. <clears throat> Vita. Oh, did you find my vet bag? Nope. I found a patient. Hello, Vita. Hi, Molasses. What seems to be the problem? Wait, wait, don't tell me. Tea party accident, right? <laughs> no. I think I have a crack in my shell. I brought a teacup to use as a new shell, just in case you can't fix mine. That's a swell shell idea, molasses. But, fun fact, a snail's shell is attached to its body. It can't come off. Your shell is your home. So it's extra important we fix up your shell. Because my shell is part of me? Right! Hmm... Huh. Oh! Good news, Molasses! Good news? Yep. Your shell doesn't have a crack at all. My diagnosis is it's a big smudge of dirt. Sponge? Thank you. <gasps> it's as good as new! Yep. 
And now, you're all better, you're all done. Now go out and have some fun. <laughs> Thanks for the fix. I mean, clean. <laughs> you're welcome. Bye-bye. Now, where is that vet bag? Uh, Vita, isn't that your vet bag? Your bag! But how to get all the way out here? I don't know. I'm just glad we found it. Thanks, molasses. You're welcome. Look, Vita. Some of your tools must have fallen out. Gotcha! That's strange. We better get them back in my... Hey! My bag is gone again. But it was right here. Do you think someone took it? Hmm, maybe. But nobody's here. If they did, they might have left a clue. I'll take a closer look with my autoscope. Hmm, mm hmm. Hey, Vita! Come on! Um, I just saw a bunch of your tools over that way. Thanks, Zigzag. Come on, Popcorn. Good luck! Reflex hammer? Check. Stethoscope? Check. And tweezers? Check. That's everything, right? I think so, but it's hard to check the list without my clipboard. <gasps> my vet bag! Maybe your clipboard's in there. <gasps> <gasps> There's something in there, but I don't think it's my clipboard. <laughs> Come on, we'll pick it up together. Wait, there's nothing in here. Nothing? Then how is it going clickety-clickety? Oh. Ooh, that sounds like Koa. Oh, <laughs> right. Let's grab the vet tools and see what's wrong. Oh, oh Vita, can you help? I stubbed my big toe. Whoa, they all look pretty big to me. Could you be more specific? Mm, this one. Of course I can help, Koa. Now that I have my vet bag, I'll have you fixed up in one, two, three. Oh, thanks, Vita. I feel better already. Now keep that bandage on and keep your foot elevated. And keep away from any more, um, what did you stub your toe on? Oh, it was that big flower pot. Oh, that's weird. Where did it go? <gasps> it's wandering away, just like your vet bag. Whatever took my bag must be under that pot. Come on. Don't worry, I'll elevate my toe. Huh, there's nothing in here. Ugh. Ah! Hey, come back. See where it went this time? Huh. No, but maybe if we just lay down a minute, it'll come back. <sighs> See, there it goes. Now it's under that hat. Huh. Huh. Thank you. Ooh, uh, sorry, Otto. We thought someone was wandering around with your hat. It's been happening a lot. Things, wandering. Hmm, no one's been wandering with my hat except me. Wish I could help you. Hey, maybe you can, Otto. Mind if we wore your hat? There's the hat. Now what? Now we hide here and wait to see who or what tries to take it. Better get comfy, Otto. This might take a long, long time. Or not. <gasps> uh, uh, I got it. All right, Vida. Oh, what's inside? <laughs> 
I don't know, but I'm ready to find out. Stethoscope. Stethoscope? Uh, reflex hammer? Reflex hammer? Ooh, my diagnosis is there's an animal in here. Now, let's see who it is. Hello. <gasps> it's a hermit crab. I'm Vita. And these are my friends, Popcorn and Otto. What's your name? I'm Clickety. Oh, so you're the one who's been wandering around with our stuff today? Yep. I outgrew the seashell I was living in. And since it doesn't fit anymore, I came all the way here from the beach to find something new to live in. Oh, that makes sense. Cuz, fun fact, unlike snails, hermit crabs can outgrow their shells, just like how we outgrow our clothes. Yeah! And I tried on lots of different things today, but nothing worked. Why not? Lots of reasons. Let me check my list. The bed bag was too big. Wait, I think that's my clipboard. It is? Oh, you can have it back. I miss you so much. I'm sorry I took things that didn't belong to me. I didn't know anyone would miss them. Uh, it's okay. You were just looking for a new home. If you want, we can help you find one you really like. Really? That would be great! Come on, you can ride with me while we look. Okay, let's go! And there, nice and cozy in my vet vest. Thank you for giving me my hat back. Oh, I hope you find a great new home. Now, what should your new home be? <gasps> a great big bowling ball? A shiny old can? Or a teeny little teacup? <gasps> oh, I just love the teeny little teacup idea. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hang on, Clickety. One new crab home coming right up. Mm. Clickety, you doing all right in there? Uh, uh-huh. Be right out. Thanks for letting our new friend try on your teacup. No problem, Vita. I hope she likes it. Like it? I love it! Ooh, ah. It's cozy, it's shiny, and it's a perfect fit. With just a little extra space, so I'll grow into it. It's toasty and sturdy. It makes a clinking sound. And it's light enough for this crab to carry it around. Welcome home! When I go on a trip, I don't have to pack. I've got everything right at home, right here on my back. My home is quite comfy, a great place to relax. My home has a garden where I grow my favorite snacks. Welcome home, welcome home. Everybody needs a place, a happy spot with a friendly face. For a pond or nesting space that they can call their own. Welcome home, Clickety. Uh huh. Thanks, everyone. I think I'm gonna be really happy in here, especially since my neighbors are so nice. Come visit us again soon, okay? I will. Bye. Goodbye, Clickety. Bye. Bye. Well, it's no teacup. But it's good to be home. <laughs> hi, Dad. Hi, Papa. Oh, hi, Sugar Pop. Welcome home from Sweetwood. Okay, friends, it's trivia time. Pay close attention to the clips and then answer the question after. Ready? Hello, Vita. Hi, Molasses. What seems to be the problem? Wait, wait, don't tell me. Tea party accident, right? <laughs> no. Question one. What did molasses bring for a new shell? A measuring cup, a teacup, or a bouquet of flowers? Time's running out. 
And the answer is... Molasses brought a teacup for a new shell. Oh, Vita, can you help? I stubbed my big toe. Whoa, they all look pretty big to me. Could you be more specific? Mm, this one. Question two. What did Koa stub? His big toe, his finger, or his head? What could it be? And the answer is... Koa stubbed his big toe. Ouch! What's your name? I'm Clickety. Oh, so you're the one who's been wandering around with our stuff today? Yep. I outgrew the seashell I was living in. And since it doesn't fit anymore, I came all the way here from the beach to find something new to live in. Question three. Who was wandering off with everyone's stuff? A fish, a turtle, or a hermit crab? Curious. Hmm. And the answer is... A hermit crab was wandering off with everyone's stuff. Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet. Now streaming on YouTube. Beginners, I teach all levels. Oh, I am not a beginner. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> and I don't know what level I am, but I do know I love to dance. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, that's all you need. Do we have time to take all those dance class popcorn? Boop da boop 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 boop. But actually, they've got to go. We have an appointment as soon as the clinic opens. Which is now! The vet is almost in. Come on, that's you! Okay, have a great dance class. Maybe we can join later. Uh, oh, <laughs> thanks. Hey, dance. 
dancers? Who's ready to get their paws tapping and their wings flapping? Oh, yeah! Let's go! Okay, let's kick and kick and kick and kick. Let's slide and slide and slide and slide. Oh, great balance, Tidbit. Don't forget to breathe, Fergie. Oh, yeah. Now, clap it out. And if you don't have paws, flap it out. Woo! Woohoo! Woo! Ow! 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 Ouchie, ouchie, ow! Ouchie, ouchie, ow! ow. My leg! My leg! <gasps> Otto! What's wrong, Otto? Oh, I don't know. My leg really hurts. What should I do? I think you need a vet. Oh, okay. Uh, Tidbit, can you please take over teaching? It would be an honor. Thank you! Come on, let's go! Looks like we need a... Need a vet who always knows just what to do. Let's go to Vita, Vita the vet. She will take great care of you. What happened, Otto? Ouchie, ow! Something's wrong with my leg. Did you start to feel pain while you were dancing? Yes, it was right here. Let's do an exam to figure out what the problem is. Can you wiggle your toes? Your leg looks fine. No bruises. Now let's x-ray the area to make sure no bones are broken. Oh. Hmm. No broken bones. Now let's see. It's bad, isn't it? I'll never dance again. Say it ain't so. <laughs> It ain't so. You're going to be just fine. You have a muscle cramp. A muscle what? Muscles are the parts of our body that help us move. Oh. Muscles are the reason we can do everything. From blinking our eyes to, well, dancing. So it's because of muscles I can do this? <laughs> yep. Sometimes when you move your muscles in certain ways, they cramp up. Cramps feel tight. Check. And sore. Check. And can be really uncomfortable. Check. But with time, cramps go away. And fun fact, bears heal quicker than people. It does kind of feel better already. But I don't want to get another cramp. Well, stretching helps. Ooh, like this? <laughs> yep. And it's important to stretch your muscles before you move them, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't do that. Well, thanks, Vita. I can't wait to go back to dance class. Okay, but no dancing until after you stretch your muscles a little longer. Take it easy, Otto. <sighs> I will. I know I can't dance until I stretch more, but this isn't dancing. <gasps> this isn't dancing either. Well, this is definitely not dancing. Now let's do some high kicks. <laughs> uh, your kick needs a little bit more kick to it. Let me show you. Okay, well, <laughs> that was dancing. Well, I better stretch a little longer or I'll get another muscle cramp. <gasps> Ooh, but the rhythm is in me and I can't help but move. And groove to the beat. 
Let's sweat, sweet wood! Woohoo! Follow me! Oh, it's back! What's back? Your groove? Uh, uh, oh! Uh-oh, the cramp's back! Oh, no! We need a vet. Again. Cold, 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 cold! <sighs> the ice will help your swelling go down. And you'll feel better in one, two, three. Thanks, Vida. Thanks, Vida. Okay, I've got good news and I've got great news. The good news is, now that Juno has that ice pack, we have room in the freezer for ice cream! Boom! Boom, cha-cha boom, cha-cha boom. Um, can hamsters eat ice cream? <laughs> I'll have to look that up. What's the great news? Oh, yeah. The great news is... That was our last patient for the day. Yes, so we can go to dance class. Vita, Otto got another muscle cramp. He needs a vet. Wait, I need something. The flashy light thingy? Headlamp! <laughs> no. The ear look any. Otoscope! No. Oh, ice cream! No. I need a banana. A banana? Come on. She's the bet. Eat this, Otto. Bananas are a good source of potassium. Oh, okay. Potassium is a mineral that helps loosen your muscles when they cramp. But you should still stretch to prevent cramps. Thanks, Vita. Can you show us some stretches? Sure. You gotta stretch, 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 stretch it out before you dance, 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 dance it out. Start with wiggles. Okay, friends, it's trivia time. Pay close attention to the clips and then answer the question after. Ready? Wow, hi, Otto. Are you two coming to my dance class today? Oh, don't worry if you're beginners. I teach all levels. Oh, I am not a beginner. Question one, who is hosting a dance class today? Vita, Tidbit, or Otto? running out. And the answer is... Otto is hosting a dance class. Ow! 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 My leg! My leg! <gasps> Otto! Question two. How 
did Otto hurt his leg? Running, dancing, or swimming? I don't know. And the answer is... Dancing! I don't want to get another cramp. Well, stretching helps. Ooh, like this? <laughs> yep, and it's important to stretch your muscles before you move them, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't do that. Question three. How can you prevent muscle cramps from happening? By stretching, sleeping, or working out? What do you think? And the answer is... You can prevent muscle cramps from happening by stretching. Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube. Tidbit, it's okay to get stage fright. Man, stage fright's a total bummer. Good thing lead singers never oh, get it. Oh, don't worry, Tidbit. We'll be right there to help you if you feel scared. But you've got to get on stage, because we're not the tree trunks without you. Or you. Or you. Yeah, because everybody gets stage fright once in a while. Well, not me. Let's give it up for Grandpa Beaver! Oh. 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 Grandpa Beaver? Grandpa Beaver's song is about to start. That means we're up next. Let's practice. Do, re, mi, fa, so. 
Uh-oh. We're at the tree! Uh, and we bring the... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Are you playing a prank for me? No! I can't... Sing! Not without us... Opinion. But you're a lead singer! The tree trunks can't perform without you! We need help curing these hiccups, and I know who can do it. Looks like, like we need a, need a vet. <gasps> who always knows just what to do. Let's go hey, to Vita. Vita. Vita the vet. She's coming! She will take great care of you. you. <laughs> you're the tree trunks and you look like you're in a funk. So, you need a vet? It's hard to hear. Let's quickly head next door to the clinic. I think you need a checkup. Wow, no checkup necessary. My diagnosis is you got a case of the hiccups. The good news is hiccups go away on their own eventually. But we don't have eventually. We go on stage next. Well. There are a few tricks we can try. I hope they <clears throat> work before we have to <clears throat> oh. go on stage. <laughs> Thank you, all, sweet Mudstock. <laughs> and up next, we have the tree trunks. Oh, the tree trunks, they're not ready yet. But I've got a little song about Vida the Vet. It's called Vida's Theme, and it's about Vida, Sweetwood's favorite, Senorita. Okay, the first thing we're going to try to get rid of these hiccups is circular breathing. Okay. Um, Fergie, what are you doing? I'm breathing in circles! <laughs> <laughs> That's not what circular breathing means. Oh. <laughs> Pop curd's okay. Circular breathing is when you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In. And out. <sighs> it didn't work. It's okay. I have another idea. That's it. Take a nice, slow, and steady sip, Fergie. Drinking water upside down can distract your brain and make the hiccups go away. Hang in there, Fergie. It's working. I don't hear a single. <laughs> I can't watch. Wow, wow, wow. How'd you land without falling? It's a squirrel thing. Yeah. And fun fact, squirrels use their tails for balance. <laughs> hmm. The water didn't get rid of your hiccups either. Let's try something else. Okay. Sometimes eating a bite of sour lemon can make the hiccups go away. You just have to reach one. Hmm. Ha, ha. Eh, eh, eh. Ah. ah, how can we <gasps> call ourselves the tree trunks if we can't even <gasps> climb this tree trunk <gasps> to get a lemon? Oh. <laughs> uh, if the crowd is clapping, that means you're on! Next! Let's get backstage and we'll slice up the lemon for you, Fergie. Okay, Fergie. 
Fergie, open wide and say, ah. Uh. <laughs> Hiccup's fine, too. Oh. Uh, it's time to go on stage, Street Trunks. Hop to it. You guys should get out there. The show must go on. Well, we can't go on without you. Yeah, we're a band. We stick together. You bring the funk to the tree trunks. But I can't. Uh, sing like this. Uh, uh, singing, hiccuping, standing there shaking your tail. It doesn't matter what you do, Freddy. Yeah, we're not the tree chunks without you. You know, there is one more way to get rid of hiccups. You need something to scare you. Like, uh, what? Anything frightening, someone screaming, flashing lights, a big load surprise. I don't have time to get scared. The tree trunks will have to bring the funk, even with hiccups. Let's do it. Yeah, we will. Tree trunks on three. One, two, three. Tree trunks! Thanks for trying to help cure my hiccups, Vida. No problem, Fergie. You okay? I got stage fright. You did? Yep. And the stage fright scared my hiccups away. Your cure worked. Hello, sweet one. We have a great song for you today. Uh, one, two, three. Now we're the tree trunks who bring the funk And we've got something to say Listen up when you're supposed to be rockin' But your hiccups not stoppin' Don't ever let it ruin your day No, no! Just boogie on over to Vita the vet Cause when you really need help, help's what you get She's got ideas to try to make hiccups say bye But it doesn't always happen that way When you have the hiccups, you hiccup and you hiccup Cause sometimes the hiccups, they don't stop But you don't give up, no, you show up and you go up on stage Even if those hiccups aren't gone The hiccups won't leave you, but your friends still need you And the show, it must go on So when you have the hiccups, just go with it Rock out to the rhythm and just flow with it Don't let them trip you up, let them make you hop Yeah, you got a little hiccup, but you don't stop Say, hiccup, hiccup, hiccup It's a hiccup bop When you have the hiccups, you hiccup Okay, friends, it's trivia time. Pay close attention to the clips and then answer the question after. Ready? Are they cheering for us? Yeah, because we're the tree chunks and we bring the funk. Question one. What color is Fergie's vest? Purple, yellow, or green? What could it be? And the answer is... Fergie's vest is yellow. Do re mi fa so Uh-oh. We're the tree! Uh, and we bring the... Uh-oh. Question two. Why can't Fergie sing? She has the hiccups, she lost her tooth, or she is scared. Time's running out! And the answer is... I think you need a checkup! Wow! No checkup necessary! My diagnosis is... You got a case of the hiccups! 
Well, we can't go on without you. Yeah, we're a band. We stick together. You bring the funk to the tree trunks. Question three. What do the tree trunks wear on their heads? A hat, a t-shirt, or flower crowns? What could the answer be? And the answer is... Flower crowns! Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube. the most beautiful leaf. Thanks, Vita. Bye-bye. See ya, Juno. <gasps> leaf! <laughs> oh, no! No, no, no! Why are you so sticky? I sticky? Oh, <laughs> yes, very sticky. Mama like a leaf? <laughs> yes, I do. Mama really like leaf? <laughs> yes, Juno. Mama loves the leaf. But right now, we've got a sticky situation to solve. Ribbit! Huh? New friend! Hello! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, new friend. Bye-bye. Oh. You know, I don't know how to fix this, but I know who will. Looks like we need a, need a vet. Who always knows just what to do. Let's go to Vida, Vida the vet. She will take great care of you. Okay, Mama Mouse, you're all set. Keep your ice pack on there till your paw stops hurting. Thanks, Vida. Bye. <laughs> <gasps> oh, we've never had a little leaf monster come for a checkup before. Not monster, Juno. <laughs> Hi, Juno. Hi, Mama Hippo. What can I do for you today? Juno is completely <laughs> covered in something sticky and I can't get it off. This is what I call a hippopotam mess. You know, sticky hippopotamus? <laughs> Good one. 
Huh. <laughs> you know, you weren't sticky earlier when we saw you. I wonder what happened. Stop, Sticky, stop. Aw, it's okay, Juno. I know what to do. Follow me. Okay, I'm gonna use my magnifying glass to take a closer look. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how she got so sticky. <sighs> me neither. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Hmm. <gasps> look at that! Juno, you really did find the most beautiful leaf. I climbed a big tree. Wow, you climbed a big tree to get this leaf? Wait a second. I think this is a maple leaf. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're right. This is a maple leaf. And maple trees make a sticky goo called sap. Juno, my diagnosis is... You are covered in sticky maple tree sap, and you need a bubble bath to clean it off. Bubble bath? Yup. If it's okay with your mama, we'll fill a tub with water, and we'll use soap to wash all the sap off. That's a wonderful idea, Vida. And you'll love that, Juno. I'll wait in the waiting room while Vida gives you your bubble bath. Right this way, Mama Hippo. Enjoy the bubbles. <laughs> Ready, Juno? Um, no, thank you. But baths are the best. Splishing, splashing. I think you're gonna love it. Really? <laughs> yeah? Come on. Bath time's great for young and old. Let's fill this bathtub up in the up, up. I am scared of the water cold. I am scared of big, big tub. You'll need a loofah and a towel. Sorry, Juno. I didn't know how nervous you were about the bath. It okay, Vida. Okay. Let me use my headlamp to take a closer look and get you both unstuck. <laughs> Almost done. Everything stick to me. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> that tickles. You know, in the bathtub, we could wash all the sap off you, and then you wouldn't be sticky anymore. Air bath. Scary. Yeah, new things can be scary. Hmm, what part of bath time makes you feel scared, Juno? Um, everything! Well, why don't we take baby hippo steps to help you feel more comfortable? You can pick everything. The towel, the bubbles we put in, no surprises. And we can stop any time you want. Unstick a leaf? <laughs> Yes, we can unstick your leaf, and you won't be sicky anymore. <sighs> okay, Vita. Okay, baby hippo steps. First, let's make sure your towel is the right size. Towel, please. Towel. It's not too little. Love it. And we'll show you the loofah. This is what we'll use to scrub the sticky off you. It's very soft. Loofah, please. Loofah. For orange, like leaf. Next, we'll fill the tub with water. Water, please. Water. I'm scared. Water cold. I gotcha. Warm it is. And how about this? You can try the water before you get in. It warm. I'm still scared of tub. Well, you don't have to go in. 
but you're just about to get to the fun part. Ha! Bubbles! Da -da 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 -da. I like bubbles. <laughs> More bubbles! <laughs> More bubbles! <laughs> More bubbles! Wait! Too much bubbles! Too much bubbles? No problem. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Juno, you're almost there. The very last baby hippo step is to get in the tub. What's wrong? I scared bubbles go in nose or ears. Well, fun fact, when hippos go in water, they can close their nose and their ears, so nothing gets in. No water and no bubbles. Really? <laughs> Okay, I try. Mm. I did it! All right! <laughs> <laughs> you go, Juno. Now let's get you squeaky clean. Bath time's great for young and old. Every time we fill the tub, a baby up. Hippo's gonna be excited to see you. <laughs> mama, Mama, look! No more sticky! <sighs> oh, that's my happy hippo. Did you thank Vida and Popcorn for helping you? <gasps> thank you! <gasps> for me? Really? Vida like leaf? Vida love leaf. Thank you, Gino. Thanks, Vida. Thanks, Popcorn. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, it's a beaut. I'll keep it safe for you, Vida. Well, Popcorn, time to head home. Welcome home, Vida. Thanks, Papa. Hey, cool leaf. Okay, friends, it's trivia time! Pay close attention to the clips and then answer the question after. Ready? Come on, what leaf? Oh! Oh my, Juno! What did you get into? Why are you so sticky? I sticky? Question one What gets stuck on Juno? Leaves, a ribbon, or a toy? the answer be? And the answer is... Leaves! <laughs> oh, we've never had a little, little leaf monster come for a checkup before. Not monster, Juno! Okay, I'm gonna use my magnifying glass to take a closer look. Question two. What tool does Vita use to inspect Juno? a magnifying glass, tweezers, or a stethoscope? Time's running out! And the answer is... Vida uses a magnifying glass. Vida like leaf? Vida love leaf. Thank you, Juno. Question three. What gift does Juno give Vida at the end of the episode? A lollipop, a ball, or a leaf?
Time's running out! And the answer is... A leaf! Ah, oh, it's a beaut! I'll keep it safe for you, Vita. Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube! question for you. Skateboard or roller skates? Hmm, I think I'm a roller skates girl. I can see that. Whee! Whoa! I gotcha! Phew! How about you? <laughs> roller skates or skateboard? Oh, me? I think I'll stick to my hamster wheel, thank you very much. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Checkups and hugs. The vet is in. <laughs> Here for my eye exam. Right this way, Grandpa Beaver. Look to the left, please. How's that elevator working? Great. Look right. Any creaky doors? Not a peep. Look down. Creaky steps? Creaky anything? Thankfully not, Grandpa Beaver. Well, okay, but if you ever need anything fixed, you know where to find me. Thank you. Now look up. Did I hear you say fix? Because I have a lot that needs fixing. Really? I'm all yours. Not again! Whoa! A secret passageway? When did you put that in? Remember that day we barely had any patience? Ugh! I had to keep busy somehow. So, think you can fix my stuff? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> oh, I, I mean, uh, I'll fix up all your stuff uh, after my eye exam. <laughs> thank you, Grandpa Beaver. Thank you, thank you kindly. <laughs> ah, now, where were we? What shapes do you see? Oh, oh yes. Flower, star, acorn. Perfect. Now, how about without the glasses? Absolutely. Oh, Vita, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing without my glasses. <laughs> what in the world is that? The skate park. It was packed today. Oh. I remember when I used to roll around Sweetwood. You were a skater? Oh, yeah. Even used to build skateboards for me and my friends. 
<laughs> Those were the days. to move and I I think I hurt my paw. Ouch! Kip, think you could get Vita for me? I'm on it! Looks like we need a need a vet who always knows just what to do. Let's go to Vita. Vita the vet. She will take great care of you. And fixed. Yay! <laughs> Help! Fergie did a huge trick. It was Totally awesome! You should have seen it! It was like... What? Da, da, da. What? Whoa! <laughs> wow! But why did she need help? Oh, yeah. She got a little hurt. <gasps> We're on it! Oh, look! She's wagging her tail! She must be happy. Actually, fun fact, squirrels wag their tails when they're nervous. Don't worry, Fergie, we're almost there. Hey, Fergie, how can I help? Well, I hurt my paw and my chair won't move, so... Oh, I'm sorry you hurt your paw. Since you fell, first I'll give you a checkup and then I'll give your chair a checkup. How does that sound? That sounds helpful. Your heart's beating pretty fast, probably because you're nervous. But don't worry, Fergie. You're safe now. <sighs> Thanks, Vita. You're welcome. Thermometer, please. Thermometer! Your temperature is normal. And your paw just has a little scrape. Don't worry. I've never met a boo-boo I couldn't bandage. Wipe an oopsie bandage, please. Wipe an oopsie bandage. Hmm, looks like your wheelchair also got a boo-boo. I think it needs to be fixed. Oh, huh. did somebody say fix? Grandpa Beaver, there's something wrong with Fergie's wheelchair. It has a boo-boo! Hmm, one of the wheels is all wobbly. What if I can never do tricks again? May I? We're gonna figure this out. Don't you worry. Ah. Just as I suspected. Lucky for you, I've got just the tools to fix this back at my shop. Ah, thanks, Grandpa Beaver. Oh, happy to help. This way, folks. Good luck. See, See you soon. And that just about does it. Ah, Fergie, you've got a brand new wheel. Take it for a spin. I hope this works. Oh, yes! <laughs> Thank you! Yeah! Woo so cool! Hmm. Did you see that? It was like, whoop, da, da, da. Wow! Whoa! Ha! Yeah, it was! <laughs> yeah! Back to the skate park! Oh. Fergie, I think if you keep doing tricks like that, you're gonna keep breaking your wheels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this chair just isn't made for tricks. What? No more tricks ever? Uh... We can't give up that easy. Grandpa Beaver, if this chair isn't made for tricks, do you think you could build one that is? Oh, a custom wheelchair? So Fergie can do tricks and be safe? Safety first, everyone. Yeah! The wheelchair could be like a bike or a skateboard for tricks, but a wheelchair! I would really love that. What? Trick wheelchair coming right up? Thank you, Grandpa Beaver! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!
Tiger. I can't wait to take it for a spin. <laughs> oh, oh, are you gonna do a whoop da 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 wa wa huh? Oh, yeah. To the skate park. Yay! Let's go. What about you, Grandpa Beaver? Oh, someone's gotta clean this shop up. You kids have fun. Thanks, Thank Grandpa you. Beaver. Bye bye. Whoa, check that out. Nice wheels, Fergie. <laughs> Wait till you see what you can do with them. Prepare to be blown away. Oh, whoa. Whoa. so cool. Go, Grandpa Beaver. <gasps> Sweet. Time to shine. I just want to ride like the wind. On my new wheels and spin, spin, spin. Rolling around the skate park fast. Taking names and racing past. There's no stopping me in my chair. Now watch me go from here to there. Whoa! There's no stopping me in my chair. I'm speeding down, I'm catching air. Even if I do take a hit, I get back up and I keep. I stumble now and then I get back up to ride again There's no stopping me in my chair I can ride it anywhere There's no stopping me in my chair I'm speeding down, I'm catching air Go Fergie! Oh, that was pretty gnarly, Fergie. Right on. Thanks. The wheelchair you made me is the goat. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I'm happy to help. <laughs> it means you're the greatest, Grandpa Beaver. Oh, anytime. Oh. Woohoo! It's, it's a bird. bird. It's a bug. It's a squirrel on wheels. Okay, friends, it's trivia time. Pay close attention to the clips and then answer the question after. Ready? What shapes do you see? Oh, oh yes. Flower, star, acorn. Perfect. Now, how about without the glasses? Absolutely. <gasps> Lita, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing without my glasses. Question one. What does Grandpa Beaver wear on his eyes? An eye patch, binoculars, or glasses? What could it be? And the answer is... Grandpa Beaver wears glasses. It's a It's hard to move, and I, I think I hurt my paw. Question two. How did Fergie hurt herself? Skateboarding, playing hockey, or an apple fell on her head? Time's running out. And the answer is... Skateboarding. And your paw just has a little scrape. Don't worry. I've never met a boo-boo that couldn't bandage. Wipe an oopsie bandage, please. Wipe an oopsie bandage. Question three. Fergie's paw is scraped. What does Vita put on it? An oopsie bandage, an ice pack, or stitches? And the answer is... Vita puts an oopsie bandage on Fergie's scraped paw. Watch full episodes of Vita the Vet, now streaming on YouTube.